All right, so if you find that you're a bit too distracted by your phone or that your phone annoys you or that you want to make the eventual jump to a feature phone, then what I've got here is a recommendation for a launcher that you can get on Android. Um, if, you, if you've got an iPhone, you'll know you can't do launchers on iPhone, so I'm not sure what the equivalent of this would be. Um, I guess my recommendation would be to just gradually uninstall non-essential apps. But what I've got here is a launcher that replaces your interface on your phone. So this is the home screen. Here are all your filtered notifications. And here are all your other apps. So on a regular Android home screen, it obviously varies depending on your manufacturer, but you'd usually have your icons and things it would look nice. <laughs> you would be able to see uh, pretty much everything from your home screen. You might have widgets. And then all of your notifications would come through your regular notifications bar. What this launcher does is effectively it makes your phone look ugly, <laughs> which is actually what you want if you feel like you're being distracted by it. Uh, you don't have any pretty icons or anything. And you can set these apps here. So I'll just open up the menu here so we can choose home screen apps. And what this does is just, you know, you just pick which apps you want to have on the home screen that pops up when you unlock your phone. And for me, that's just my messages, my phone and WhatsApp. I don't actually have a SIM in this phone at the moment. So really only WhatsApp's the one that's being used. But I'm assuming you're using your phone. Um, so these are the three main apps that you would use to actually communicate with people, which is why they're the most important. Anything else, like your banking apps or authenticators, things like that, they're all, you know, you're not going to access them nearly as often. So once you've selected those apps, they'll show up on your home screen, uh, just as plain text. And then on the left here, I mentioned we have filtered notifications. So this is one of the best features of this launcher is that it can control which notifications go through to your lock screen. So here, I don't have any notifications here, and it looks like that most of the time. Because with this launcher, you can set exactly which apps are allowed to get through to this lock screen and show you notifications. And that includes the like audible notifications or phone vibrate. If it's not in the whitelist, then you won't get any form of lock screen notification or sound. Anything else that isn't in your whitelist goes to this filtered notifications page so that you only really see these, um, you only really see these pop-ups if you want to. It's only when you check it that you'll see it. And the idea here is that you just simply don't want to look at your phone as much because you don't need to, you're not being prompted by it all the time by different apps to to look at things. And I find it's quite effective. Uh, I quite enjoy it. So what we can do here is click on change app preferences and you can select which apps are whitelisted. So I've just got, you know, WhatsApp and my messages. Your phone will always come through. If you're getting a phone call, it, it will come through unless you put it on do not disturb. And then I've just got calendar for events and alarms and things like that. And then everything else is blacklisted and it gets filtered through to this page. And the last part of the launcher is just the main app screen. So all we've got here is your recent apps, which will pop up here. If you don't want something to show up in your recent apps, so take the American Express here, we can just tap this and say remove from recents and it will disappear. So you can clear that up if you want. And then everything else is just in an alphabetical list which honestly makes things kind of difficult to find, but that's the idea. There's also a search button if you do actually need to find something in a hurry. And you'll find that most of the time, because your recents are on the top and they'll mostly be the main apps that you use anyway, you'll kind of forget about any apps underneath this line, unless it's, like I say, an authenticator or something that you do need to use occasionally. So that's it. I just wanted to share this tool. I thought it was quite a good app. I don't think you need to buy the pro version. I honestly don't even know what the pro version does because this is pretty much perfect. There's nothing I would really change about this. Uh, and yeah, I hope it helps you. 
and I hope you're able to focus a bit better on whatever it is you're trying to do.